Hey, SMB Nation, Harry here, and we've got a really interesting story about a, a, a product area you might not have thought much about. I'm with uh, Bill Knopf. Bill, welcome. How are you doing? Doing well. Yourself? Good. Good. Uh, first of all, over at Microtouch, uh, what is it? What is your job? And then we're going to talk channels. Um, I lead the uh, channel sales for Microtouch. Um, I've been with Microtouch since January and have around 20 years in the touch industry. Okay. Okay. Great. So, so what, what does do, what, what does the word channels mean to Microtouch? And here's why I ask when you go across different industries, it literally means different things. Um, I come from the traditional IT industry. The channel might be an MSP. What, what does channels mean to Microtouch and what do your channel partners look like? Okay. Channels to me is we, we do your standard two-tier distribution would be our channel, sell to distributors who sell to resellers and then get it to the end customer. Um, we utilize the channel as since this is relatively new under the Microtouch name for us, the channel is uh, how we're, we're getting to market right now. Um, we will continue to add people, but the channel is how we get there. And currently we uh, run through three distribution partners and then we are uh, working to build out, um, you know, the reseller relationships because that's where, you know, the demand and the, the fulfillment really happens. So that's what our focus will be. So what I'm hearing is you may not have a direct Olympic medal channel partner program where I could sign up as, as bronze and earn my way to silver and become gold, but you'd rather uh, go through your three distributors. Um, no, we are working on a, a program. It's going to call the most valuable partner program MVP okay. with a football slant. Um, we hope to launch that sometime in Q4 and it will be geared towards the, the traditional VAR the, the value added reseller where we'll uh, have programs in place to protect them for bringing business in. And uh, because a lot of times some of the smaller guys will go out and do all the heavy lifting and then uh, maybe a large mail order company who doesn't need as much margin on the sale could end up losing it. So we want to help uh, reward the, the people who do the lifting and help us get spec'd in. Yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, yeah. My career is essentially in the channel via vis-a-vis -vis the Microsoft partner program. Uh, let's, let's take a vertical that you serve. I understand uh, you have a footprint in uh, healthcare. What's, what's going on in healthcare? Well, healthcare, um, we are, we are just really approaching into the healthcare. We have okay. a handful of products that we want to start focusing on and we really want to get with some of the bars that have healthcare focused programs. So, or, you know, that they have the list of names of where to go. So um, Gene is working and his team on a product lineup for us. And um, we should have by the end of the year, probably half a dozen products that, if you will, would be considered medical, um, whether some certifications, color, et cetera. But um, we are going to push into that market focused, come towards Q4 and, and um uh, start of Q1 next year. And uh, that's, you know, yeah. it, it's not our biggest market, but we, we feel that there's a lot of opportunity there for us. Oh, ab absolutely. It's not going away. That's for sure. No. Uh, final question would be there's winners and losers coming out of the uh, the pandemic, um, not to sound like CNBC, but uh, <laughs> how did how did the pandemic t uh, treat micro touch? What um, I would think right now we're probably... I think it's treated us better than most. Number one, we have our own factory and we build our products. So a lot of the people that we compete against use contract manufacturers. So when everybody's scrambling for components and stuff, it's nice that you have the ability to have your own factory and we leverage a lot of our OEM business. Um, additionally, I think since there's not travel really and customers aren't being seen, since we have a limited sales force, um, it, it, we're not you, you, you know, we're getting more even by using our distribution reseller partners and because people aren't expecting you to be out calling on the end customer. So I think I think we've done well the launch. Um, obviously, we would like not to have had COVID, but I think um, the COVID situation, taking all the, the, the negative stuff out of it has probably helped us more than it's hurt us. Yeah. Yeah. Good. 
Good. Yeah. I, I, I would offer, um, and I, I was just thinking about this over the weekend, you know, just business and, and the, uh, the pandemic. And now we have the Delta variant that's, um, you know, just as sort of like our, at least the second wave. That's for a whole nother discussion of what wave we're in. But it has really changed how business works. And I was just, you know, looking at uh, the touch screens, uh, literally over the weekend, restaurant, this, that, and the other. And I've, I've just fundamentally changed my behavior <laughs> on, on how I transact. So, yeah. um, well, there you have it. We'll keep up the good work. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. All right.